As far as players at Manchester United, as far as captains of Manchester United, Roy Keane set the standard. So to see him sticking his neck out for Cristiano Ronaldo has really kind of taken me by surprise. In this video, I want to run through what he said about the Ronaldo situation before the game against Chelsea and after the game against Chelsea and give my thoughts on it because genuinely, I, I'm staggered by what I'm hearing from Roy Keane, a man who I uphold as one of the best ever players to play for Manchester United. But I can't disagree any more with what his reaction has been to this Ronaldo situation and his staunch defence of what was the most unprofessional thing you're ever likely to see from the greatest goal scorer of all time. He knew exactly what he was doing. He could have waited two minutes, but instead we're still talking about Ronaldo. Ten Hag is constantly, he's asked about Ronaldo more than he's asked about the game itself. Ridiculous. And Roy Keane, I didn't expect it. I really, really didn't expect it. Look, what I want to do is is run through his comments and we can have a conversation about it in the comments below. You can let me know what you think. Maybe you think I'm wrong in this one. I don't think I am, but look, let's listen to what Roy Keane had to say. Obviously, the manager's made a decision to leave him out. He's um, disappointed at Ronaldo, certainly well, didn't want to go on, even if it was, what, 87, 88 minutes. Uh... Immediately making an excuse there about the time. The timing does not matter, Roy. Let's, let's, the timing doesn't matter. You know that full well. Um, and the fact he walked down the tunnel, he's obviously been punished for it. Yeah. Um, but I try and see it as well from a player's point of view. He's obviously had enough. He's, he's, he's lost a head. Um, and I think it's been brewing now for the last few weeks with Ronaldo. Um, but I will still try and defend him. I, I still think he's human being. He's got flaws. He feels frustrated that he's not been probably um, getting opportunities. And he's had enough. If Roy, I don't understand it. This is a man, right? Let's let's remember this. This is a man who gave an interview where he blasted. Was it the U, the U team? Was it the I can't remember whether it was the U team or whether it was just a team that he was left out of. He absolutely went ham on them on MUTV, an interview which is notorious. That was the beginning of the end for Roy Keane at Manchester United, and now Roy Keane is there defending the actions of Ronaldo, saying. He's just a bit pissed off. I stand by him as a player. That's not you, Roy. As if this is the, the hill that you're going to sit on. It's really shook me. It really has shook me. And he's walked down the tunnel. I think players have done a lot worse things at Man United. I have, they? have they? What? This is the man who's just com he's completely undermining everything that Eric Ten Hag has done and is doing. And he's done it not only once, he's done it twice this season. Was told it was unacceptable before, but did it again. I find it really weird how it, it seems like the former players, ex-players, they're really struggling to be impartial in this situation. Rio Ferdinand is another name that I can throw into that hat as well. This is very much like Gary Neville being questioned about Ole Gunnar Solskjaer last year. This is very much like Jamie Carragher commenting on what's going on or what was happening with Steven Gerrard at Villa. They cannot be impartial on the situation. I, as a United fan, if I can step back and say what I think is best for the club and use that as my core driver of what I think, then I can be. And I have tried to be throughout this entire time with Ronaldo and it's just blowing up. But I just can't believe everything that I'm hearing from Roy in this interview. I think it happens. It's human nature. Well, Everyone was talking about after the game that they beat Spurs. It was a big win. Best performance in years. Yeah, it was. Absolute rubbish. Spurs were terrible. Man United. And how is Roy trying to take away from that performance? It's really, honestly, it's 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 blown my mind. That's why I wanted to do a video on this. And there's 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 so much more to this as well. There really they really managed to beat Spurs as well last year at home when I think Ronaldo got a hat trick. So he's more than capable of getting on that pitch and and making a difference. Um, but he has to take his punishment. Is there a way back from him? I'm not sure. But I no, I'm not sure either. And I tell you what, I'm gonna. I'm, we don't need to listen to the rest of that one before the game because it was the one after the game that really exploded. And I don't know whether it's Sky Sports almost using Roy Keane as a character now. Ah, oh, let's just get Roy on. Let's get him on to argue. Rather than the genuine insight that you should re be requiring from pundits. It's a bit like why Micah Richards has become a, a central figure for Sky Sports. 
because he's got a cracking laugh. Well, that's about uh, that's slightly unfair, but certainly the personality of him on screen and and the, the, let's not talk about Micah Richards. Let's talk about Roy Keane and what he says here. But he's obviously had enough. But Roy, he snapped. You... Ronaldo's thirty-seven. He still wants to be the best in the world. That's why I admire him. I see players. Yeah, we okay, okay. We, okay. We, we sit Roy, here. No, we, Roy, we sit here week in week out. Hold on. 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 What has that got to do with, with the Ronaldo situation? It's it's like, oh, I've murdered someone here, but look, someone over there has murdered two people. Let's ignore that. It, 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 let's not distract from the, the conversation we are having. That's that's the sort of thing that Piers Morgan would do, Roy. Really, really. Saying, it's all about the, the spirit, which he's mentioned a few times in his interview. It's all about the spirit and the but group. Not he not mentioned... But he's not criticised him. But Tenag's not criticised him. He's actually handled it really well. He's been calm yeah, with it. it. Tenag's well. not come out and stitched him up and said, he's out of order. He said, I've spoken about... <laughs> In fact, I'll go as far, I'll go as, far as to say he's handled it brilliantly, man. Like, it's, it's the, it is the biggest of egos that will there ever be in football because of the things that Ronaldo has done. And that ego has been the driver to allow him to become elite, the creme de la creme in elite sports. Without that ego, he wouldn't have achieved everything that he's achieved. And that's why this is such a clash. And I think Ten Hag's done it brilliantly, man. It's such a tough situation. I think he's handled it well. Is the other enough? He's talking about the spirit after the game. That's, that, do you not think that's a message to Ronaldo? But Roy... I, it's got nothing to do with Ronaldo. Diddly. Diddly. And that's the thing that I think is irking me the most. Is that... We've just got four points from Spurs at home, Chelsea away. One of the best, most complete team performances that we've seen in years. Although Roy said, no, Spurs were terrible. Don't give anything to the United team. Don't give them compliments for that performance. And then Spurs and Chelsea away there. Wasteful again. Uh, we need the clinical number nine. We came back there to right at the end, and it was fighting spirit. But no, talking about that is just a message from Ronaldo. Roy, you're better than that. That's the thing that's... Uh, you're, you're better than that, Roy. But Dan Hagen announced he was leaving. Right, I watched a that, month ago. Said, Cristiano I'm off to Man United. This is 25 for league titles. Cristiano last season, he walked off against Everton, having been left out by Oli yeah. in one of his first games, shaking his head, at the, head at, the, at the end of the game. He was doing that to Rashford and all that with the body language. Uh, and why... Uh, uh, how is Gary being able to be so impartial in this situation. Gary, they see, I don't know where this divide is coming from. I don't know whether it's the people that just, just blindly support Ronaldo as an individual rather than the team that he is part of and anything that he can't do any wrong. That's kind of what Roy Keane is kind of going towards here. He's kind of, he's just defending him. He's defending the the indefensible in terms of Ronaldo's actions, I think. So anyway, and, and what he knows done. what he's doing, Cristiano. He's an experienced he player. He's doing. And players of that power. What are players doing? But players of that power. Again, Roy Keane. Oh, yeah. Let's take away from what Ronaldo. Oh, no. Someone else has done it over there. Let's point at him as well. We're not talking about that, Roy. We're talking about Ronaldo. It's weird. It's odd. That's the best way I can describe this whole situation. It's... Continuing to they have a real negative you know what do but they have a really negative influence on the others when they but do I'd it. I'd be worried if he was happy to be taken off. No, happy I know, to be on but the, the influence they I'm have on other that. players is really negative because of the power that they have. They're in an influential position. I love well, him to bits. Not today, because Fernandez, the manager, said the spirit is but great. Right, I, love spirit him, is I love Cristiano to bits, but you can't defend him leaving the ground. I'm not saying. I'm not saying. Of course not. And there was other players left. And they will get punished. Like we were in a dressing with players, you get punished if you make a mistake. Of course. No, we were. That's part of his. But he gives you something back. Right. We sit every week. But he doesn't give enough players. back. He doesn't give. Right now, Ronaldo doesn't give that back. And I know that Rashford's missing, but with Rashford in the team, oh, jeez, let's not get into this. That's not. Uh, in fact, I'm probably just going to wrap this up now. I'm going to start getting into a, an argument. Uh, there's a little bit more here. Let's see what else Roy's got to oh, say. Oh, no, he does not give enough back at the moment. He, he doesn't. doesn't. He scores a goal every two games. It, it, he scores a goal every two games for Man United. It doesn't. He, he doesn't. Does. Do you want the stats? Yeah, but he scores a goal every two but games. But they lose games with him. They, they, they can't lose carry games. him. They right. can't yeah. carry him. They're against Man City. They can't carry him. They lost a brain for They're always going to celebrate. Man United are fifth in the league. Listen, this is great television. This is great television. It's great television, but it's it's not. I look, man. I, I'm uh, it's that. I'm semi speechless to hear Roy Keane going in. I could understand if he like defended him a little bit, but he is just Kevlar suit on, not taking any sort of criticism. Oh yeah, you know yeah, what he did was indefensible. But 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 bang 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 bang. 
it's odd, it's strange, it's weird. It's from the man, I, one of the men I, I admire the most in a Manchester United shirt. What he did in the standards he upheld. And everything he's doing now here is just seems to laugh in the face of that. To laugh in the face of that Roy Keane. And Roy Keane knows about standards. He was the king of them. That's what I find so odd about this whole situation. That's just my thoughts and reaction to it. You can let me know what you think in the comments below. I, I, this is going to be the last video I do on the Ronaldo. I like, I like, I hope so anyway. On the Ronaldo situation, I want to talk about Ten Hag, the football, and everything going forward. <sighs> Fuck's sake! Ronaldo knew that this would happen. That's why he got up and walked off. And if you don't believe that, well, that's your decision.